listen, I can give you a concrete example of why this gender disparity in Congress uh, is so important. Paycheck fairness, it's been mentioned. The urgent need to provide equal pay for equal work for women. This is women in the same jobs as men. The very same jobs. I'm a member of Congress. My colleague John Larson from Connecticut is in the Congress. Uh, I, we have we make the same salary. I serve with people north, south, east, and west. Different geography, different backgrounds, different skill sets, different education. We all make the same amount of money. That is not true for most women in our society today. Uh, unmarried women have an average household of almost $12,000 lower than unmarried men, men in, in, in America. The incomes for women-headed households are down by 3% since, uh, since 2000. Half of all women are in jobs that do not offer retirement plans, and retired women are more likely to be poor than elderly men. I introduced the Paycheck Fairness Act, which stiffens penalties for gender-based discrimination, in 1997. The House passed it twice, as has been mentioned. The Senate has failed to act. This is the same Senate where just two weeks ago, Senator John Kyle of Arizona deemed insurance coverage of maternity care unimportant because, and I quote, I don't need maternity care. And as Senator Debbie Stabenow firmly reminded him, your mom probably did. <laughs> so, uh, despite uh, 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 Senator Kyle's obvious sexism here, I believe that this is the Congress that will finally get paycheck fairness passed into law. But it should not have taken us 12 years to do this. And I know that it would never have taken that long had we had more women legislators on the 